Matthew chapter 2 and verses number 1 and 2. And if you permit me, perhaps three. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, every birth is in the days of a king. Every emergence and appearing and manifesting is chronologically and spiritually arranged to happen with a king sitting. This is just an information. So, if you cannot image, maybe there is a scaring being king struck, not star struck. King struck that I can't image because of this particular king. The king is the one who oversees what happens in the territory, spiritual and otherwise. On account of certain kings sitting, certain destinies have never emerged. Some have apologized for who they were made to be because they cannot afford to emerge while the king is kinging. Just information. Write it down, put it in your pocket. You will need it someday. Because you need to become defiant and careless about who is a king at what point it has to be with or without the consent of the current king. That is what emergence takes. And that is the reason why many significant have not emerged because of respect and deference to the king who is arranged God knows that what is on the inside for emergence supersedes what is on the outside to overrule so that is why his interest is not to kill a king for you to be born is that in all these things we still emerge walk around and talk like your man your your evil rubo you like your man don't pass i don't care who sits i say walk around talk like evil rubo you like your head don't pass like your mind don't pass you now when are people say that evil rubo you that means your mind don't pass that means you have no control over your mind speak like you have no control over your mind and you are not afraid say i don't care what sits on the throne i don't care who sits on the throne i don't want to know the name of the one who sits on the throne i care less about who sits on the throne i am absolutely indifferent to who sits and what sits with him and for him and for how long it matters nothing to me it matters everything to me that i image with or without the king it does not matter if god be for us i dare the father of the king to be against us i dare the mother of the king to be against us I dare the grandfather and the grandmother of the useless satanic king who sits uh, the Lord says to my Lord sit at my right and fear because I will sit until I make the king into your footstool there is still a 
mighty rod from Zion. And that mighty rod carries a name. Rule in the midst of your foes. Ah! If you guys only let them be all the names fade away. Abia, Abia, Abia. Let the all the other names fade away. Lord, let all the other names die away. There's still there's only salvation. Let addiction die away. Let inhibition die away. Let fright and fear and phobia die away. Turn this into a prophetic circus. Talk like your mind don't pass. Like Iboruboyo. Yo. Say, I am walking anywhere. I am breaking forth anywhere. I am sprouting anywhere. I am getting holy anywhere. I am righteous anywhere. I am pure anywhere. With or without. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sorry. I don't. I'm not sorry. I came to disrupt things for Satan today. In your life, this week, this month, this year, and forever. No apologies. I came to disrupt. <laughs> Raise your right hand and say, I don't care who rules. <laughs> I don't care who sits on the witchcraft throne of my ancestors. <laughs> say, I don't care who, who is a satanist. <laughs> In the territorial stool, I emerge anyway. Oh, come on, God, speak it out. Say, I emerge anyway. I don't care. I emerge anyway. I emerge anyway. I don't need consultation fee to emerge. I emerge from darkness. I emerge from the ruins. I emerge from bad things and bad luck. From the circles of defeat, I emerge. Speak it up like I emerge from sickness and lack. I emerge from lost. I emerge from lost. I emerge from weakness, from alcohol, from drugs. I emerge from abuse. I emerge. In the name of Jesus Christ, Labote Malibrason Dakata. The wise men from the east they came anyway, regardless of Herod the king. They came. They, they came to Jerusalem. Your time has come. Saying, Where is he? They are searching. There is a search. Where is he? Who's to be lifted? Where is he? The one that heaven has favored. The one who is being settled and in wealthy, overflowing place. Where is he? Where is he? Show me. I'm here. Where is she? The one to be healed and restored and cleaned up and packaged and polished and lifted and promoted. Where is he? You want to be appointed to be inaugurated. Where is he? Show me. Show me. Why? Because we saw his star. We saw the star. That's it. Show me. We have seen already. How do you hide what is already seen? You cannot unsee what is seen. The glory that cannot be unseen. 
because I'm changing and changing still. If you are the person, raise your hand and say, I am here. My time has come. Say it like, let the devil be scared of you. My time. Shout with your eyes popping out. My time has come. My time has come. My time has come. My time. Has come. I am hungry and angry. My time. My time. So I'm here. I'm crossing. I'm crossing. I am crossing. I am imagining. My time. Who is angry? Say my time. the devil I will not apologize my time has come my time has come my time has come no more delay I am here my star has gone ahead of me I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Get angry. Get angry. Get angry. Say my time has come. My time has come. Seven notice to Satan and all his principalities are power. Say regardless of your lies, my time has come. My star has gone forth. I don't need your consent. You, the enemy of God. I don't need your agreement. You, the enemy of God. I don't need your acceptance letter. I don't need your approval. I don't need your opinion. My time. My time. Let the order Get out of my way! Get out of my heart! Get out of my possession! Get out of my inheritance! Get out! The time has come. And I'm not begging for it. Let all the order fade away! two hands and worship. Let the, all the other names die away. Let all the other names faint away. Let all the other names disappear away. Vamos. <laughs> I speak big English to you. Get out. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. Turn around and talk to whoever cares. Even if the person doesn't care. Say, I don't need approval of darkness to image. My star has gone ahead. 
family welcome to the rising stars assembly of gfcc commonwealth 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 rejoice like your star rejoice like your star building my bicep. I had hurt myself in the process of building my stuff. And for like three, four months, I've not done push-up. From today, I'm going back to build. Because on a day like this, you should full on tell you. I came to raise this orderly being unto Jesus they didn't come to raise conformists those who need permission from Satan in order to move a step I came to bring disruption sir Jesus is the greatest disruptor that the earth has ever seen sir you cannot carry the call of Jesus and his name upon your head and not disrupt situations I came to disrupt patterns in your life I came to disrupt stuff, sir. Things that have been firmly put in place to keep you small and insignificant, to make you faint-hearted and not louder. I came to raise uh, a generation that even remarkable you can tell us. Those who cannot hear, stop. They only know go forward. If you say stop, they don't recognize. Their system will say error. Wrong information. If you tell them move forward, say take right. Roger that. Be seated. Dr. Edward, welcome. That's my divisional commander. From next service, be seated all the time. Be seated surrounded by all your sub-commanders. Cannot see. And whoever, whoever does not, does not feel good being a commander, drop the person, appoint another one, I will promote. promote. Sir, the army had been inaugurated, sir. And we don't owe anybody apologies. A damn bubble. Get ready to start all over again. The first time I saw you, your face looked like somebody on retirement. Now you don't look like you are retired. I've never seen you smile. I've never seen you laugh. Now you laugh. Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. I've succeeded one day, at least one day, to make that man smile and laugh. In Auburn, you will pay me for making your husband. See, come into it. So into it. You see, man. Family, I have been looking for this forever. You know, I actually love one service. Love one service because I like keeping people long in church. I don't have. 
So I don't like you should say 20 things and you say two things in summary, sir. I used to feel summary and I'm still ready to feel summary. Except it's absolutely necessary. And in this case, how did you summarize what is eternal? But then, as much as I love the long one service, sir, I've been, something has been nudging me saying, no, let's raise mad disruptors who will make wealth with eye open and see the glory of God where others see shame and darkness. Those who will loot what had been confiscated by the devil for centuries and they will plunder in one day and become extraordinarily outstanding. So I came to raise an unapologetic collectives of crisis in the sight of God. I came to bring forth David of this generation from weaklings. I came to raise a little tax fox. Tax fox that leaves destruction in his wake when they go to walk unto the name of Jesus. They cause the destruction of the satanic destruction to fit into nothing and they cause glory to erupt. So, that's why I came. That's why I, I answer this call and I tell God, this is the only condition on which I want to live till I'm 90. And I'm not going to say, I used to say in those days of naivety and um, stupidity that if you don't take me home, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> This is the only way, the only truth, the only life. Nobody's taking me home until this is done. So don't think I am leaving this place soon. Change your mind. I'm not going anywhere. Ian I love this one. Ian <laughs> loves to hear this. It's so beautiful to stay here and just shout the whole day. But we have more than shouting. Shouters who don't have substance are helpless noisemakers. All those who have ever called me a noisemaker as I started off in this call, they are living to regret it. 20 years ago, 20 and few years ago, people will say, you make too much noise. Now, when you are given the opportunity, you'll be silent. Somebody very close to me that permitted me, he was a young priest and I was a seminarian. We were so close that I had permission to tell him everything. So when I criticized the way things were, everything was lying low and things were quiet, undisturbed. I say it's not true. This is not the call of Jesus Christ. He told me a parable that the little pig, they are called piglets, or baby pig or whatever it is. I don't need good English for them. Pick is pick. Infant pig saw their mother with the nose like this and the mouth always like this. So the piglet, not knowing, has never seen the mirror, so does not know that's how pigs are. Ask mommy, why is your, your mouth, your nose always like this? The mother said, grow up. You will discover for yourself. And so he told me that. <laughs> See, if, if discovering that is what it means to grow up, I am not growing up. <laughs> I'm going to stay at the level that I refuse to allow my mouth to be like that. I was very defiant. I have not forgotten this conversation. And the person is alive and knows me. <laughs> Now he knows I have not accepted my mouth. <laughs> I have increased in age but my mouth. I refuse to allow my mouth to be like the mouth of pigs being familiar. So it's okay to be a pig if that is what it means to walk around. But you can choose how your mouth will look like. <laughs> in these days of surgery, sir, you can do makeover surgery. Even if they say in your family, in your clan, this is how your mouth are. Is it not a choice? Koreans are not naturally gifted with 
bold pointed noses which is why they are wealthy so that they can change their nose and what is wrong with that nothing nose na nose praise God now you are not following me you are the way you are looking at me like I think you are going too far you have not seen anything yet <laughs> this is the year of extreme this is a year you are either extreme or you are nothing why read it for yourself what is that overflow is extreme pay attention what I speak to you don't expect me to speak to the the champions family assembly I have a word for them so every Sunday you make sure you receive your own and look for every way on earth to enrich yourself with what comes because I was sent. I am wealthy wealthy I'm wealthy wealth is abundant unnecessarily abundant annoyingly abundant so I'm abundant not in the way you know it but the way I know it I want to talk to you about the power of spiritual intentionality write it down if you are here you don't have notebook and a biro I retire you go out like the one who came into the feast without extra oil told his extreme and if you say why do you say things like that didn't I tell you that Ibu Roman Boyo my mind my head had passed that's what my local people say when somebody's crazy say the head don't pass means the head has gone in a different direction and the body is going another direction those are the people sir who can rewrite the story of life your head cannot be normal and you go where everybody else is going glory to God the power of spiritual intentionality God asked me to lay foundation perhaps this Sunday and next Sunday we shall be talking about spiritual intentionality what is intentionality first of all intentionality is all about intention make it simple intentionality is about intention I don't know what is intentional about you let me hope that you dress the way you are dressed today intentionally because I am this way it has nothing to do with your perception I didn't think about you when I wore this this is what I wanted I intended this and my standing here the way I stand is the consequence of my intention I got I came to this place and I've been angry since I, I had few hours of sleep I was getting planning to get angry before I went to bed had few hours of sleep woke up and I got very angry it took me courage to brush my mouth because I was too angry to stop talking I say if I brush my mouth now won't I stop getting angry so I came here intentionally to be angry and if you if you have found me you will be surprised many of you have not seen me that angry <laughs> and I want to bless God for let every other name fade away that is equal 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 is so equal for other names sir. the name that scare people should fade away I said that's how we play ball that's how we play ball aggressive glory to God I don't know how Nigerian Super Eagle went and failed that they led in the final and they received trust taken and received lazy guys who could not beat up their opponent aggressively from the beginning to the end and they did at Jebota and the other man he says he's been scoring for Napoli and he could not score and he wears a max how do we celebrate mediocres celebrate mediocres they almost almost won and they are celebrated so will they ever win if they are celebrated for almost winning and these are people who have won stuffs let me spare my anger for you you have enough problem for me to be angry with you let me leave those lazy men by the way there are multi-million people 
professionally lazy for their country. But we can let them go. So I came very angry. We tell you, after we get angry and shout, devil, get out of my way. Was that your intention? Or you are just faking it? Because some of you, if the devil reminds you of the prayer, you pray and say, sorry, pastor, just say when you pray that prayer. I didn't go to church today intending to cause any trouble. Just, I just went and pastor just came out with this energy. So I'm sorry. And the devil said, lift up your two hands. I'm sorry, I will not pray that kind of prayer again. Say, I'm sorry. I swear. He didn't say you should swear. He just said, don't say you will not pray again. But he said, don't make you know that I'm very serious that I will not pray like that again. I swear. He said, okay, as your punishment, don't go back to that church again. And next time they invite you. So far, I say, before I say, no, I'm not going to go. That's how the devil slaps you after one serious moment in, his, in the presence of God that causes disruption. And he gives you reason not to show up again. And you feel comfortable. But spiritually, you had apologized. You tend that apology. Because it was not your intention. So intentionality makes action sustainable. Write it down. Intentionality makes actions sustainable. Anything you do intentionally, you are likely to sustain it. What you do unintentionally, you are likely to drop it. When the least opposition comes your way, you discontinue. Why? It was not your intention. Intention has to do with the exercise of your will. The exercise of your volition. Your will is your, is your mansion. Your, your will is your throne. Do I have time to talk to you? This service is supposed to give way for the other service at 9.30, right? Can somebody do me a favor? Wherever you find clock that controls other clock, go and hold it. While you hold it, listen to me. Don't say I went to stop clock and I couldn't listen to you. You hold it and then listen to me. Praise God. Thank God we have a big church. Then come and sit down. Let's go. Tell me, let's go. That's it. Is that your intention? Okay. So your will is where you are the only governor. Your will is where you are the only president. God cannot have your will until you surrender. As almighty as he is. The devil, as wicked as he is, he will not have your will until you give him. He may never want to let you have it back. God will willingly give it back to you if you want. Because he's the God of freedom. Why? The true essence of love is freedom. Nobody, nobody truly loves you if he does not allow you the space to choose to love him or to love her. So the, the clear indication and proof of true love is freedom. So God is love. A lot of people ask questions. So why does God allow us to... No, the God, God didn't make you a robot. He didn't make you a stone. He made you like himself and is a being of love and free will. He says, Jacob, I love. Esau, I hate. It's the exercise of his free will. That is his divine government. He chose me. You may not like me. You come close to me. You look at the details of my life. Don't know. And somebody once was so disappointed about me as a young priest. He said, I don't know how this boy found his way to the priesthood. He said, you have not started. Go and ask God how he brought me in. Didn't ask you your opinion. He's a God of free will because he loves. He does what he wants. I choose to love who I love. I choose to go where I go. I choose to walk with who I walk. It is a choice. That is what makes you like God. If you didn't know. So when he said, let us make man in our image and likeness. It means the one who will choose. So he told Adam, what do you call this one? I say, I call this one this. He said, that's it. I agree with you. God wanted a companion. 
God wanted somebody he can trust. Somebody with, with faculty of knowledge and ability to choose. So if you are married and you didn't choose, it's not what you choose. That is not marriage, it's manipulation. If God reveals to me, oh, this is your wife or your husband, I say, it feels like God is saying something. If you don't choose and you say, I married because he's a prophet, there is something wrong with your head. You need a psychiatrist who will break open your head and wash your brain. I am married. I used to be a Catholic priest. I'm married. I will not marry for you. You will choose. You will choose. Say, I have free will. That's it. What do you do with it? That's where success, success is in your free will. Failure is in your free will. Your life looks like the way it is now because of what you have been doing with your free will. You are free to be lazy. You are free to be in class and not listen. You are free to be in church and not take seriously what is written. And not take seriously what is preached, which is why church has not changed so many people. Maybe 99% of people in church are not affected by church. Maybe just 1% of people in church are affected by church. Why? It is your free will. That while I talk, you are looking at your phone. It is your free will. I can shout and insult you. And if you say, I'm not coming back to this church next Sunday, it is done. And that's all. It is your will. So that is your greatest power on earth. You dare not say you are powerless. The greatest power you have is not billions. You didn't choose your father. You didn't choose your race. You choose what to do with being the son of your father. And you choose what you do with being an African. That is the realm of your intentionality. Say, I intend to succeed. To overflow. See, the way you say, because it's not your plan, it's not your intention. You are saying it like, if you say that, I will become wealthy. The way you say it, say like, if you say that, I, it will buy, you begin to go on Rolls Royce and I will still sit here. Say, I intend. How dare you sit down to say such a thing? I told you, I will go back to building my, because I'm about to, I will drop this microphone and pull you out. Say, let's fight. If you beat me, you beat me. If I beat you, don't be, don't respect me because I carry. I, when I drop microphone and I hold you, hold me. Because I mean it. Say, I intend. What do you intend? Eh, because I told you. Because I told you. Because I told you. Be seated. It's not your intention. What time did you come here today? That's your own intention. Did you wake up to pray today? That's your own intention. Prayer belt begins at 12, 12 midnight. Did you spend five minutes to pray? That's your intention. When you are on your own free, your laziness. When last did you study one chapter of the Bible? When last do you remember one, one verse of the Bible? That's your own intention. Are you studying in the university? What you know you gave you as a gift? Or what, according to your vision, what you want? What did you study? What grade did you make? That's your intention. Teresa, God bless you. Teresa, stand, come out, come out here. Come out here. If you were praying that I should not remember you, your prayer has failed. Come here. Come here. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Sir, that is what it means to be cute, very pretty, very intelligent, very, very, very serious, like great A minister. Like, I didn't come to play minister. Sir, 
I sat down there. He said, I don't care if I preach. You can preach there. Continue. Do anything you want to do. Anointing, sitting well on beauty, combined well with beautiful dress. And uh, cha, let me warn. Let me warn you. I don't care how your face looks like here. You will be handsome and anointed and rich and wealthy and very holy. Cha, ma, I don't care what life has brought out of you in this place this is the least beautiful person in this place you will i warn you so that you know whether to come back or not i don't pull my punches and i don't hide you i come from a place that when they want to fight you they don't hide they say come come out i'll beat you we said that we don't fight we beat people that's how straight we are and we are surprised if we if we are beaten because that was not the intention. The intention was to beat you. Worry your mind. Worry my be. Worry my be. That's worry. You me have yet. It's a warning. So I'm not worry. It means you surrender to be beaten. That's where I come from. That's where I come from. So I don't joke. This is the least beautiful person, the least anointed. So this is the base. So everything you do here, you know, you cannot go lower than that. Very beautiful, very cute, very holy, very anointed, very well, well polished, very, very lifted, very, very qualified. Like you scare the devil, like you scare some brothers that they dare not talk to you because they need to grow up. That's my daughter. Won't be seated. Walk back intentionally. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I still remember her. Sit down in the interview. When I interviewed her for the ministry platform, I listened to her ambition. I took note. I went to him. I said, Hello, love. I've seen one young girl. You need to see her. Her spirit is something. Buried in a small body, but mighty spirit. I sat down there so blessed that she's the person to begin this service. Sir, praise God. Praise God. Sir, I have started pastoring people. I have. Until now, if you told me I've started pastoring, I'll tell you it's not true. This time around, I say I've started. I've seen one person that I've pastored. The next one is you. All the brothers, you are handsome. Say, all the brothers and the young brothers. Say, I'm, I am handsome. I'm cute. I am wealthy. I dress well. I smell well. I attract wealth. I am intelligent. I am significant. Ubrege yami. Arit. You say, Ubrege yami. All the young sisters. Hey, no, you are not included. Commission, I not just stay there. That you have eaten your cake, you are having it. <laughs> All the young, beautiful sisters in this place say, I am cute. What do you mean? I say, I am cute. I'm beautiful. I'm anointed. And by the way, I'm holy. Praise God. Praise God. Still have time. Intentionality. That was intentional. I don't want to make any comment. There is that when we meet with the first lady, we talk about other things. You understand what I mean? But here, we don't talk nonsense. <laughs> we talk nonsense. Intentional. Push her then next week. Let's see how she looks like next week. I want your heels to be higher next week. <laughs> That's the only thing I wanted to say before the first lady, but I will not say it again. If you are afraid of higher heels, let's see next week. Put her here next week. Let's see the heels. Praise God. You can still stand on higher heels and be anointed. It's better. better. Praise God. I'm sorry. That should have been family housekeeping, but I've already done it. Let's go on. 
Tell somebody, tell somebody, tell me, let's go on. But you should have told me that all this while. The power of intentionality. Sir, the house is built intentionally. Anything you admire in life, you admire because it was intentionally made. Why do we admire nature in the night? Have you ever stood in the night and lifted your eyes to the skies? The immensity, the beauty, the wonder. Psalm 8, the psalmist and marvels. When I see the work of your hands, I begin to wonder what is man that you care about him. Sir, they, they are the, what they are because of God's intentionality. So if you don't know anything about God, start knowing from today that God is the God of intention. God is the God of intention and he made a being of intention. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 3. Genesis chapter 1, the whole of Genesis chapter 1 and Genesis chapter 2 and even Genesis chapter 3 reveals the intention of God and the disruption of that intention. Genesis chapter 1 verses 1, 2, 3. In the beginning God created. So the things are not accidental. Beauty is not an accident. You don't accidentally dress well. You don't accidentally speak well. You don't accidentally get wealthy. You don't accidentally live a beautiful, right, holy, pure life. You don't accidentally live meaningful, significant life. Everything that is significant, everything that stands out, everything that is praiseworthy, everything that is admirable is a product of intention. If your life will make another person long to live, it can never be an accident. It is intention. That means you wake up daily. How you want to wake up. You show up. How you want to be seen and to be remembered. So, you live to make a mark by intention. So a young woman, you are forbidden from entertaining conversation with somebody who is not intentional to details. If you want to go far in life. And a young man, you are forbidden from entertaining suggestions in your mind of connecting somebody for a purpose that is called life. That is not intentional. By the way, if you want to marry, I talk about relationship marriage in, in, one, in one part when I open my mouth. Because this is everything. Don't marry somebody's pocket. Marry somebody's intention. Don't admire somebody's car. Admire somebody's intentionality. You see, those who drive the most Dangerous driving on the road are those who don't own cars. Who accidentally enter somebody's car and say, let me run around. He say, I can go. Oh, take the car, can you drive it? Unintentionally. If they have accident, they die because they cannot produce, cannot, they cannot even put pressure on the tire. They cannot afford it. Those who live by intention are careful intentionally in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth the earth was without form how to turn what is without form into form it's not an accident it's intention how to turn an aspect of your life that is without form an aspect of your life that you don't admire and nobody admires that what is unprofitable about you what is useless about you as a husband, as a wife, as a friend, as a daughter, as a son, as a worker, as a business person, to turn that which is formless into form for admiration and appreciation. It is not an accident, it is an intention. You are given formlessness. So ugliness is everywhere. Ugliness is everywhere. Sir. So, Insignificance is the how life begins. 
everyone comes into life insignificant without a voice except crying voice a child is hungry cannot say I want to eat just Christ diaper needs to be changed cannot say I need a change just Christ that's insignificant that's how we started life to grow from that place to being in a place that you choose how much you earn you choose how much you earn that in this business if they are not going to get this one out of this business it's not for me I give it out to somebody else to reach that point is not an accident the product of intention to be a lady that at every point in time when people want to ask you please will you marry me cannot be one person an array and a host of people not because you are the most beautiful but because life has been cultivated to significance with no pride attached to it with no sauciness and arrogance that's not what your mama gave to you. It's what intention makes of you. Wedding is given to everyone. I do. Take this ring, honey. Super bomb bomb. And all of that. That one is available. And we make people laugh on that day. But now to build intentionally life in marriage into an artwork that is good for exhibition that will cause the royals to walk past to admire and to recommend for study and further investigation that is intentional it's not accidental to come out from the university with great that is jaw-dropping and with content that is intimidating and yet inviting it's not the product of intelligence it's the products of the combination of different shades and colors of intentionality intelligent people have great marks great grades because they pour out what they were given but intentional people carry content that will make those who made A to submit for learning. I prefer that one. I prefer that one. I told myself I don't need to go to Europe and America. Some people that I've seen, the only way they feel big is that I studied in so so place and they look so local and dialectical. Dialects, I'm using a word to break out of dialect, Usem. That you'll be surprised they have ever lived in a country called the United States of America. They took in their village to those places and made those places dirty. Because intentionally, they were not cut out for beautiful places. But the only thing to add an additional empty ego. Say, so, no, I don't need that qualification. I want to live a life that is compelling. That when you meet me, you, don't tell, you are not in a hurry to tell me where you started. You are not in a hurry. To flaunt before me, I have PhD from so so and so. That's the life I've been thinking of living. One day I will start living it. Start living it. Intentionality. Intentionality. That's who God is. So the stars are not arbitrary. Nothing is out of place. Have you ever seen a leaf? A leaf of a plant? Look at how intentional. Look at the arrangement. Have you ever looked at your palm? I am told no two are the same. Your index, you don't have another one like you. Sir, I don't know what is happening to wristwatches now. I've not yet had, I've never owned a wristwatch. One day I will own a wristwatch. Not to show. I just love the basic thing. I don't really love accessories. It's so difficult for me to carry. I love it plain. I just love internal content. But one day I want to wear a wristwatch. That is the work of an art man, a craftsman. People who put one thing on top of another mechanically and got things to move by, the, by themselves. That is the magic of creation. So when you hear Rolex, it's not mass produced. Omega, 
These are not things that people do carelessly. These are the works of art and intentionality. So I love wristwatches, even though I've not yet worn one. And one day I'll wear one. At least once and drop it somewhere. I tell my children I love art and I kept one for you. Sir, that is God. That's what it means to be made in the, made in the image and likeness of God. That you leave an imprint that you walk past and whoever comes later knows oh somebody I met in here she blew me away with few words he said my intention in life is to be in a place that I will never be replaced she said that has been one of our life intention that I can never be, re be replaced that I walk away from a place nobody fits in like I did somebody can do better Somebody can do something else, but you will not say, I saw somebody that met me and made me irrelevant and forgettable. That's ambition. It's an unforgettable. That's the power of intentionality. You are forgettable. Somebody has conversation with you and is in a hurry to forget you. Somebody asks your name and you mention your name one second later. So what did you say was your name? That is how fleeting you are. You cannot be held in the memory. So you have, a, you have to do a constant reminder of message. It is me, or Miguelo, and Miguelo, Avonero. Ah, I'm the person you saw yesterday among those people. That one that waved and then you greeted and we. we you took my number and I took you. I said, I took several numbers yesterday. Which one of the numbers? Ah, down <laughs> there. I'm just trying to see. That one with a hair like that. See, I had many hairs like that. You are not memorable. You were an accident. Not the main thing. It's not about your dressing. It's about the art that has gone into your intentional living. Did you introduce yourself intentionally? Did you walk out of your house intentionally? The reason God says, I am God only and you shall not have another. Because you break the order. Because there is no order. God himself cannot have an idea of another God. How dare you conceive one? When the infinite mind cannot conceive of conceive of something alternative parallel and then you conceive it that is called idol idolatry you create what is fake and insult the majesty of the unique you were made not to die you were made to live that you went to school your faculty carries your imprint that you still stand upon the rock but because you stood upon that rock for quite some time the rock accepted your print rock shouldn't mud should but that is how weighty you are that you walk into difficult situations and hopeless situations and your presence turned things around energy came alive in the place of hopelessness smile brought was was brought forth because you appeared have you ever been in a situation that you walked in and a tense a tense situation got relaxed that is intentionality. It is not accident. How many people have you met that you could not forget that you met them? Whose hands you shook and you felt? I met a man called Enoch, Enoch Adeboye. He refused to, be al to allow himself to be called bishop or general disorder. He said, Pastor Enoch Adeboye. At close range in our head in 2017, around October, that I went for the event of the church that God sent me to, to receive encouragement and help to take the work that has brought me to this place. I'm standing here intentionally until God calls me home. I don't want to see a day of accident. I want to see a day of intention. And a man showed up and every minister wanted to greet him. I said, no. In the little that I know, the superior reaches out to the inferior. The inferior receives. You don't stretch out. You break protocol. 
So I refused. I just stood and laid back and watched the man that everybody wanted to greet. Greeted everybody, came to me, my turn, looked at me straight in the eyes. Stretched out his hand. I said, I was looking for it. I greeted him instantly. A burn in my heart left an indelible mark. Shook the hand of fire and I was burning the heart. Intentionality of the man waking up every day to represent the Almighty who dwells in unapproachable fire and light and reminded me if you are to represent, you have to look like the one who made you and called you. He's a maker you make, he's a changer you change, he's a lifter you lift. It makes impression you cannot meet God and forget him. So you may, you may go back to sin and wallow in what you had let go and rejected. But you will never forget that God once breathed in you. It's immortally memorable and unrepentantly unforgettable. He is God. You were made like him. And you don't walk like him on earth accidentally. You walk like him on earth intentionally. He said, let there be lights. Because there was darkness. <laughs> lights was not to show. Empty people dressed to show. Great people dressed to fit. Because it just fits who I am. <laughs> Empty people appear intentional people manifest Kalomanda, ta, 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 ta. they appear great but real people manifest great they come from inside out empty people from outside so they pay attention to how they appear you don't address me like that address me accordingly great people don't worry about the, the details of the address they are interested in the details of the makeup the ensemble of reality of intentionality that has made them into the unforgettable of the divine on earth I came to harass you into life <laughs> when did you wake up today was, was that when you, went, you wanted to wake up was that your intention how did you arrive here today? How did you walk in? Do you remember how you walked in? Do you remember the first thing you heard? Do you know who is sitting by you? You don't. They are not intentional. Do you know the color of your surrounding? Do you know what is acceptable? Do you walk into a place and know instantly what this place is about and what is required for you to make a mark? It's not an accident. It is intention. Intentional. To represent the Almighty on earth is the highest office that is available to the humans. And you don't do that just because you are born again and you speak in tongues and you are baptized. Like those of us who have the background of the Holy Roman Catholic Church. When I was baptized, your father was not yet born. The first priest that came baptized me. And do you like, look like you are baptized? That's not the matter. Just want to let you know, even though you are a priest, I was baptized before your father was born. Like history. History that you don't represent. Rise to your feet. I'm forbidden from going further. Next week, I will give you a gift. And perhaps we'll wind up and close the door of intentionality and start being intentional in this place. Stop being intentional. Next time, your hair has to be what you want it to be. Not to what somebody suggested. I bought these shoes. I wore it. It's the only shoe, but I wore it today for a purpose. Sir, my beautiful things don't last long because I wear them every day. I grew up not having Christmas dress. I have an immediate elder brother who was just so careful in preserving Christmas dress means another Christmas will come and meet it. So a Christmas dress means next Sunday will not meet it right. Because if it is beautiful for me on Christmas day, so why not make Christmas every day? 
what should I reserve what is beautiful so I bought my first Louis Vuitton shoe I don't mean pirated thing. I bought it in Italy in the shoe shop of Louis Vuitton downtown <laughs> yeah I bought it sir any day you see me wear it you will think I bought it in from a right and bend down because it is like this yeah because I loved it and every time I wore it, it's like, why can't I be wearing this every time? Just looks so heavy and beautiful and fitting in my head. And it's just like you see it another day. Now it looks like this. So I refuse to throw it away. Nobody around me will wear it. I will wear it here. Because I remember where I bought it from. <laughs> I remember how much I just feel like all of them should look like that. So how why should your beautiful thing last forever? So I wear it every day. So be intentional. And let somebody laugh at you, say, repeat, repeat, and say, yes, that is my normal. That's the only way to grow. I grow into what I repeat. Praise God. I grow into what I repeat. So, do you know habit is what you repeat? So, what is wrong with repeating what is beautiful? Every day you wear the same shirt and the same tie because it's beautiful and you dress well and you're talking. And I'm not a word and you're talking slightly pulled because so that it's not the same way the other day. And another day you make it so straight. <laughs> another day, but it doesn't matter. It's the shirt that I have. But I wear it today intentionally, not the way I wore it yesterday. So whoever, yeah, let the head, let the head, the head of somebody pass. But stay focused. Repeat it because it's your life. Eventually, they will fit into place. Don't have one good thing and keep it for your grandchildren to come and see. Wear it until good things look for you. Until good things look for you. So put on your best every day intentionally. And if your best is one, that's okay. If you don't have one best, then get one and make it best. And when you appear, you you do like you do like the, you do it like this is the best. So I'm just trying to let you know this whole thing is about intentionality. You look like what you are intentional about. I'm not permitted to go further because there's no time. So next we will look at scripture and see the greatest man that ever preached the gospel was by intention. Mighty things are done intentionally. Turn your life into significance intentionally. Let it begin with when you go to bed. Why you go to bed that particular time? Why you cannot answer phone calls certain times? Why you cannot look at your message? You cannot look at your phone certain times? Why you wake up in the morning and the first thing is not to check what somebody has said on Facebook? And you find out what is said in heaven about you today. Start where you are intentionality will bring you out I want to pray for you close your eyes and lift up your two hands if you have never surrendered your life to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior I want to give you a gift and you feel like you want to start from today to live a life intentionally as someone who has been saved come out here I want to pray with you and pray for you wherever you are you feel like God is calling you by name to dedicate your life to the life of, of God intentionally from this moment. Just walk down. Now it's going to be intentional because you don't want to care about what another person says. There's no good person here. There's no bad person here. Everybody here is a raw material for greatness. Just come and say, my intention is to give this life. This life can no longer be a normal life. Just come out here. I just want to pray with you. As you come out, don't wait for me to come and pray for you. Start talking to God. Drop things. Say, Lord, I brought this one to this altar. I brought this loss to this altar. I brought this filth to this altar. I brought this uselessness to this altar. I'm not going back with it. Just drop things and I'm going to pray for you. Just going to pray for you. Just going to pray for you. I'm still waiting. And the only way you can come out is because it's intentional. I want to intentionally either give this life for the first time or rededicate this life. I can no longer live this life like it does not matter. What God did not give to me that I carry, I drop on this altar. Open your mouth and start, and start talking. And start talking. Ministers, I hope you will be around to pick up 
their contacts because we're going to start new believers walk with them and start doing what God asks us to come and do in this place turn ordinary people into champions all of these people are mighty mighty saviors that God wants to use to change the world you dare not stand there to look at anybody close your eyes and dedicate your life say I can no longer live this life unintentionally doing with this body whatever I like I am the best of God there is no one that is better than me that God made to be like me I am the only one say I accept this life as God made it not fake of it not fake of it I don't know what you are dropping on this altar I just don't know what you are dropping on this altar I'm asking the Lord to take something from you take sin from you take burden from you I'm asking the Lord to take guilt and shame from you I'm asking the Lord to break yokes in your life as you confess speak to God whatever that it is that you are confessing say Lord take this from me take this from me just tell Lord take this from me take this from me take this from me any deposit in my life that is unworthy of you take this from me Lord take this from me Lord Jesus come into this life you send me to this so that somebody can start again take this life fill this life with your glory fill this life with your glory fill this life with your glory fill this life with your newness let the light of your face shine upon this life let the light of your glory shine upon this light let every yoke that somebody has brought to this place be broken Lord don't let anything that is brought to your presence be taken away from this place break the yoke of lust break the yoke of masturbation in young people Lord break the yoke of drugs in the life of young people break the yokes of shame and addiction whatever it is that they have brought to your side Lord nothing is too difficult for you to do do it for them do it for them in the name of Jesus come into this now mm, unbroken praise be yours God forever and all my praise be yours God forever Alabosha. Lord take this life and let become your throne I dedicate this one to you Lord I dedicate this one to you Lord I dedicate this one to you I dedicate this one to you Lord yokes are broken I'm a witness addictions of lost are broken masturbation God pornography God emptiness and uselessness self doubt God Wherever you are, lay your right hand on your forehead and let the Spirit of God come and feel. The Spirit of intentionality in excellence, in purity. Become your throne. Unbroken praise. Be yours. Unbroken praise. Be yours. God. Forever, all my grace be yours, God. Forever, please take this life, let it become your throne. Say with me, everyone, everyone in this place, with your hands on your, your right hand on your forehead. Whether you are standing here for dedication and rededication or you are standing there, this house is offered unto God because a star, a star has gone forth. It doesn't matter who has been reigning as king, you were designed to image this season. You will find expression, you will find help. You will find anger and hunger in your heart to break into the greatness that God had put in place for you. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I turn it all over. 
my heart, my will, my sacred place of rulership, the only thing I have control over, my will, it shall no longer be mine. It's yours to keep. Keep my will. Make my will your will. Reign in my heart. Take away my sin, my shame, my nakedness, my weakness, my lameness. Mention other things that you ask him to take away. God forever. All my praise be yours. God forever. He says this heart. Let it be come yours. Unbroken. Say, come into my life. Fill me with your grace. Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your life. Fill me with your strength. Christ the Lord, fill me with the grace of significance. The power of intentionality. Fill me with the grace of excellence. Please stay in this life. Repo landa kata la kata. Maso mende pre la mosundata. Repo landa kata. Light is shining. Chains are broken. I command foul spirit, leave these ones and never come back. Addictions gone, uselessness, emptiness gone, shame gone, guilt gone. Lord Jesus, reign. Shall reign. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you so very much. Go this way, ministers, please. Attend to it. We just need your contact. We want to start a class just because we love you. To mentor you, just walk this way. Just a class for you. Class for you. Celebrate wherever you are. Just follow. Don't worry, it's intentional. Don't be seated. Wherever you are, I want to pray for a sick. I want to pray for a sick. I don't know somebody who has any sickness that is worth me laying hands on. I don't know. I don't expect anybody to be sick here. We just came out from Goshen experience. Anybody came into this place with any disease, any sickness, anything? I just want to lay hands on somebody. I just want to pray. Otherwise, if there's nothing significant to come out about, just stand wherever you are. Lay your hand in any part of your body. God has given me grace to heal diseases, to heal sickness. God has given me grace to demonstrate in the breaking of the yokes of sickness. I don't know whatever it is. Can you stand behind that? I don't know whatever it is. Lift up your two hands. I hope you have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. He is the healer. Lift up your two hands and close your eyes. The Lord who heals. The Lord who heals. The Lord who heals. You speak your word. And then you heal my disease. Everywhere I sing the song. Whispering. You are the Lord. My healer. I don't expect you all to be sick. I don't understand it. You are the Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Just mention the name of sickness that you are being healed. As you call the name, I heal you. I heal you and take that disease from you from this place. Whatever it is, as you mentioned, and they mentioned the name of it, I heal you. I take it from you. Take it from you. From today, you no longer have it. Mention the name as I lay hand on you. I heal you. I take it from you. you no longer have it. You no longer have it. I heal you. As you mentioned the name, I heal you. In the name of Jesus, you no longer have it. As you call the name, I heal you. You no longer have it in the name of Jesus Christ. As you call the name, open your mouth and call the name of whatever it is. I heal you and take it from you. No longer have it. I heal you and take it from you. No longer have it. In the name of Jesus God. I heal you. You no longer have it. I take it from you. In the name of Jesus God. I heal you. You no longer have it. I take it from you. You no longer have it. As you mentioned to them, you no longer have it. I heal you and I take it from you. I heal you and I take it from you. As I lay hand on you, walk away. I heal you. Mention the name. I heal you of that. I heal you of that one. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I heal you of that one. You no longer have it in the name of Jesus Christ. I heal you of that one. Mention that name. I heal you of that in the name of Jesus Christ. Take it away from me. I heal you of that one. You no longer have it in the name of Jesus Christ. I heal you of that one. You no longer have it. Oh, you no longer have it in the name of Jesus Christ. You no longer have it. I heal you in the name of Jesus Christ. Go back healed. You are healed. You no longer have it in the name of Jesus. You are healed, little girl. You no longer have it in the name of Jesus Christ. The young son, you are healed. You no longer have it in the name of Jesus Christ. I heal you. You no longer have it in the name of Jesus Christ. I heal you. No longer have it in the name of Jesus Christ. You no longer have it from today. I heal you and take it from you. In the name of Jesus. Mention the name of it. You don't look at me. Lift up your two hands. I take it from you. Lift up two hands. I heal you and take it from you. Strengthen our word you for now. In the name of Jesus. Total healing and restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I credit your health with perfect healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I credit your health with perfect healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take that infirmity away from you. I take that infirmity from you. I take that infirmity. Wherever you are, pray, pray. Ask God to heal your spirit, heal your finances. In the name of Jesus Christ, you no longer have it. I take it from you. No longer have it, young girl. I take it from you. It's, I command that foul spirit to live you. In the name of Jesus, I take it from you. Breathing issues is gone in the name of Jesus Christ. You no longer have it. You no longer have it. You are healed. Let up in the name of Jesus Christ. You no longer have it. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring the healing power of God and take that disease and change your DNA. And change your blood. It's no longer there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mention the name as I speak in the name of Jesus. I take it from you. You no longer have it. I take it from you. You have been healed. In the name of Jesus, as you mentioned the name, I take it and I take the other one. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, guys, I take that one from you also. In the name of Jesus, what you mentioned is what is taken away. You no longer have it. Your blood no longer contains it. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. Open your mouth and speak what you are healed of. In the name of Jesus, mention what you are healed of. I heal you and restore you to health. Keep speaking wherever you are. Keep speaking. Ask God to heal your finance, heal your mind. Heal your heart. In the name of Jesus, I take it from you. I take it from you. You no longer have it. I take it from you. You no longer have it. Let her go. You foul thing. Let her go. Don't touch it. Again. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. You are restored. You no longer have it. As you mentioned, open your mouth and mention what you are healed. Of. You are healed of that one too. In the name of Jesus Christ. I heal you of the other one too. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed of that one too. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you mention is taken from you. Whatever you mention is taken from you. You are healed of that one. Whatever you mention, you are healed of. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you mention, you are healed of that one. In the name of Let her go. In the name of Jesus. Whatever you mention is you are healed of it. Take it from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take it from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed and restored. Her. You are healed and restored. In the name of Jesus, take it from you, young girl. You no longer have it. Lift up your two hands. Lift up your two hands. You no longer have it. Say, I'm free in the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands everywhere. Say, I'm free. I do what I could not do. Begin to speak. I am free. I do what I could not do. Say, this week I go where I could not go before. I'm free from limitation. I'm free from addiction. I'm free from weakness. I'm free from failure. I'm free from shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak ideas of our overflow. I speak the grace of intentionality. I speak the power of intentionality, the vision and the wisdom of intentionality. You will intentionally rise. You will intentionally be lifted. You will intentionally explode in glory. You will intentionally come to preeminence. You will intentionally become significant and become actual in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Just worship with me once. One minute. Hallelujah. 
your star has risen you will no longer be ignored regardless of who is a rod sitting on the throne image Hallelujah. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave the sun, say, Hallelujah. 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 Wave the senses. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. 